In this particular example, we're going to apply some of our knowledge using the angle sum of a triangle theory, as well as our knowledge of isosceles triangles. So in this case, uh, first few things I notice when I'm looking at this um, from more of a, an experience standpoint, I see two triangles, but more specifically, I see two isosceles triangles. So this particular triangle has two sides that are the same, and this triangle here has two sides that are the same. So these are uh, key indicators that could help us further explain the problem. So I'm going to I'm going to focus on the triangle on the right side simply because I see an angle here, and I do have a little bit of information. Once again, noting that this triangle is isosceles, which means I have two equal sides. And with two equal sides comes two equal angles. Noting that they are always the two angles opposite to where the two sides meet. So you'll notice they meet up here. That means obviously our triangle has angles which are going to be equal at the opposite two angles. So since we know two angles, both being 44, and I know that the sum of all three angles in a triangle are equal to 180, we know that our third angle must be 92 degrees. I'm then going to focus on the other triangle, noting that I don't know anything about the angles on the interior of this triangle. However, I do have some information pretty close to the side of our triangle here. So we have to start looking to see if there's anything else I can use here. And if we focus on this area at the bottom, I know a little bit of information based on what we did in the triangle on the right. Since I know that angle E is 44 degrees, and I know that a straight line has a angle measure of 180 degrees, I could use some simple subtraction here. And 180 minus 44 is 136 degrees. Again, noting that this triangle has two equal sides, so these two angles are the same. And since the interior angles of a triangle add to 180, so subtracting one 36 from 180 leaves us with 44 degrees to split amongst both of these equal angles, which leaves us with 22 degrees for angle C as well as A.